guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, 15 makeup tricks that you never knew before. As soon as you get out of the shower, make sure you have your curler ready to go. This is a perfect time to curl your lashes because the heat and the steam from the shower will break the salt bonds in your lashes, meaning that you can curl them easier, they're gonna stay curled for longer, and they're going to be a lot more lifted than what they normally are when you curl your lashes. If you're wanting to achieve the perfect mascara look, but you feel that your natural lashes are a little bit too thin, a bit too wispy, and you just wanna thicken them up a little bit without getting the cluggy look from too much mascara, then this is a trick for you. Apply a little bit of a translucent powder to your lashes, just using a mascara spoolie, and then apply mascara over the top. The powder's gonna coat each lash and just give it a little bit of extra oomph, so you have a little bit more thickness when you apply your mascara. So just say you've done a winged liner, but you're not 100% happy with it. The angle's a little bit off, and it's just a little bit skew whiff. All you need to do is take some olive oil or any type of oil of your choice and go in with a clean angled brush. So dip the brush into the oil and then go along the outskirts of your liner and this is going to take off any excess liner and just really crispen up your eyeliner without affecting the rest of your makeup. You can't find the perfect brow gel for you. None of them seem to work. That's all right. <laughs> Try soap. Yes, soap. I'm being serious. <laughs> Take a clean spoolie, get it a little bit damp, and just lather a tiny little bit of soap on that, and then brush through your finished brows. Make sure you only use a tiny bit, because you don't want to like remove all the hard work you've done at filling your brows in. But this is going to be the most perfect eyebrow gel you will ever use. It just, it, they just hold in place. It's amazing. <laughs> so you want to go for a really nice, dewy, glowy, natural foundation look. Then all you need is your foundation and clear lip gloss. Oh yeah, I said it, clear lip gloss. You could probably use a sparkling lip gloss too if you wanted to. So basically pump out the normal amount of foundation that you normally use and then apply just a small dash of lip gloss to your foundation mixture. Make sure whatever lip gloss you're using is not a sticky lip gloss. You want one that does not go cluggy or anything like that. Mix that up well with your foundation and apply that all over your face and you're left with the most gorgeous natural dewy glow to your skin that you have ever experienced. So if you're trying to get the most out of your concealer, have you considered this? Do your baking with concealer. <laughs> so basically what I mean is apply your concealer, but don't rub it in straight away. Leave it for a few minutes so it can set and lock into place. It's almost like it gets a thicker consistency when you do this. Then when you blend it out, you have the most out of your concealer. You're not blending it away into nothing. It still blends really nice and seamlessly, but you just get so much more coverage out of using, you know, the same or even less product than normal. If you've got a gel liner that's just not cutting it, either it's dried out a little bit or it's just not lasting as long as what you'd like it to, to do, all you need to do is take some of it out of its jar, apply it on the back of your hand and mix in some setting spray into your gel liner or cream liner or whatever it is. Mix it up well and it transforms your gel liner into something that is going to not only last so much longer but it's going to apply even smoother than what it used to. So if your skin is quite oily, but you're not the type of person to use lots of setting powders or setting sprays because you don't like the way they feel or the way they look on your skin, then I have the trick for you. All you have to do is go in with your favorite powder of choice and apply this underneath your foundation. So basically apply in a patting motion to all the areas where your skin gets quite oily, pat the powder into those areas, and then apply your foundation as normal. What you're left with is a gorgeous, not so much matte, but just even soft coverage that is going to last a very long time, but also keep the oil at bay. So as you guys know, I love using makeup for other things in other ways and that makes a lot of sense. So basically, if you are after a cream blush but can't find one that's in your shade or there's not one that you really like, then go ahead and just use a lipstick bullet. The creaminess of the lipstick will give you a beautiful creaminess on your face and gives you a very soft dewiness to your finished makeup look. So when you are applying your blush, 
Do not apply it when you are smiling. Get that resting bitch face happening. <laughs> Basically, the thing with applying blush when you're smiling is obviously when you smile, your cheeks are raised. So if you apply it to the apples of your cheeks when you're smiling, when you stop smiling, the cheeks drop and droop down, making your blush be in a very awkward, weird kind of area. It comes a lot closer to your nose and a lot closer into the center of your face. Applying a highlighter, if you want the ultimate Oh my gosh, moonbeam highlighter. Or to get the most out of your highlighter, all you need to do is apply a little bit of a clear gloss underneath the areas that you're going to apply your highlighter. And then basically apply the highlighter over the top. It's going to cling to those areas more, but it's still very easy to make it look seamless with the rest of your face. And you are left with moonbeam. <laughs> the brightest popping highlighter Ever. Time for baking. Grab some corn flour. Yes, corn flour. It actually works wonders as baking. It's so, so much cheaper than a lot of the baking powders as well. And it is technically a powder for baking. <laughs> So you want your makeup to last a very long time, but you're not a fan of powders. You're not a fan of setting sprays after you've finished your makeup. Then I know what you need to do. You need to skip the primer step and instead of using a primer as a primer, use a setting spray as your primer. So all you need to do is have clean hands, spray the setting spray onto your hands, work it in well with your other hand and then apply this all over your face. Allow it to dry 100% before applying your foundation and your foundation will last 10 times, 100 times, a thousand times longer than what it normally does. So if you have hooded eyes but want to apply the most fierce winged cat liner ever, those hooded girls out there like myself will know the struggle. So often when your eyes closed your liner looks fierce and amazing but then when you open your eye it's on this kind of weird angle or like your eyelid cuts half of the liner off and it's like what is going on? So all you need to do is just apply the liner slightly different. In that area where your eyelid kind of hangs down all you need to do is just raise the liner slightly. Create almost a bump or a semicircle in your eyeliner wing. Yes it's going to look a little bit different when your eyes are closed but to be honest no one walks around with their eyes closed really really <laughs> but when your eyes open you're gonna have the most flawless gorgeous looking winged liner that you can achieve with hooded eyes so oh yeah <laughs> my last little trick for you is if you are wanting to wear glitter but have no glitter adhesive and you're thinking what can I use just use brow gel it is amazing it's clear it's sticky and it's going to work perfectly for your glitter to adhere to. All you need to do is just apply a thin little bit on your finger, just dab it on very lightly onto the areas that you want to apply your glitter, go over the top with your glitter and perfect. You've got a multi-use product. Brow gel, glitter adhesive. Yeah. <laughs> Alright rainbows, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Become a part of the rainbow family. Would mean so much to me. And yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.